Hello everybody and welcome back to our Soy Dalasat campaign in the EU4 Anban Armad. We have our little wild hunt horde sitting here in our little playpen. And I think the next thing we're going to go for is taking on these dwarves up here. Let's get everybody moved up. We're building some armies. Getting everything ready. I can only fabricate like one claim on you, so I'll just do that. But yeah, I think he is a prime target for expansion, Mr. Kildar, a good anvil, the first. Get that done. Get our claims over here as well on these filthy bulwari. And look at us, we are rolling in money. I might as well just upgrade these advisors. Yeah, look at that. We're going to have level 5 advisors for all of them sooner or later. And we're still going to be making a ton of money. It's a broken country. <laughs> and thing is, is we can actually make more states now. Oh, his hold is getting sieged over here. Yeah, let's just take this back and get to war. Because he's fighting his friends. Dwarven friends of Kugdir, Silverforge Expedition, and Ered Natavir, the scary one over here. Alright, let's see. Let us go. His only friend, Holy Yorkad, will not join. Let's get in here. Poor dwarves. Don't really care, though. I would like to take this hold for myself, though. Get our first Dwarven hole. How long until this truce is up? 33. Okay. Oh, he's going to siege that down. Damn it. Got to move over here. Try to take all of these. Expansion is president. We're going to have to kick him out soon, though. Sadly. I would likely get my Republican tradition back. Nice, that's a good one. Military reform. It's because he has, I'm pretty sure it's because he has six mil. Uh, let's see. Let's reform the army, obviously, because we don't really have a navy at all. And there's not really a point in having one, so. I'm just thinking about what I'm going to take. Hold on. Let me do this so I can see what. Jadari is doing. Yeah. Bolar proper. Oh, okay. I thought Jadari was... Wait, are you friends with him? Okay. So that's why he's just been staying here contently. Huh. I thought he would start beasting on all of them. Oh well. Let's keep her going. Maybe try to go over here, try to get to their capital. And I mean, these guys deserve to die. Their entire capital is just full of orcs. They've been doing nothing the entire game. I actually have humans here, so let's go uh, liberate them. You know, the human minority in their capital gives us a right to attack. You know, very, very, very familiar. And we're still purging all these centaurs. Oh, that is a level f oh, that's a level three general, and he's still lost. Oh, it's his king, Kildar. Oh, he's a powerful mage, and he still got killed by just regular Lake Federation humans. <laughs> just shows you how strong Mongolians and Finnish people are. I'm not sponsored in any way, by the way. Actually, take this too. It's very cheap. We're gonna get the institution soon. Let's get an admin idea along with a mill idea. I know I didn't go about that in the best way possible, but I'm just playing for fun. Let's see what else we can get. Just want to see all this land over here. What if I could steal your maps? 
What else can I get? Bahar. East Deepwoods. I want to see that. Oh, yep. Saranvar. Scary. Speaking of scary, that actually is a 32 stack of Dwarvish Men and a Battle Mage. So. Hmm. We could actually finish off Admin right now, but we are about to take land soon. And it's not a Admin efficiency one, so. I'm thinking maybe we will take something like this. Maybe take this once they're able to give it to us. Yeah, generals are pretty expensive at the moment. I mean, I could just make a straight push in here. Just gotta figure out where his army is hiding. It's- wait a minute, what? It's all cannons! 62,000 dwarvish cannons, are you kidding me? And my treasure just died. Rip. We don't really need money. I'd rather take national unrest. Yeah. And I'm thinking maybe I should take discipline. At this point, discipline is better than morale for us. Yeah, let's do that. Show, <laughs> show people our resilience. Nice. I'll take that. Free stability. Three stability, man. And we gotta re-elect somebody else. Who do we need? Probably an admin guy. Batig Namjag. Yes. Glorious ruler. Wait. Okay, yeah. What's it to say? Nice. That's good. We need to start spying on everybody. I wanna steal some maps. I'm curious to see what like, Kanor looks like. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go slap around this Dwarven cannon stack. <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. Let's go. We actually we can actually finish a mission here. While we're at war, with the unification of our islands have come greater economic growth than we have ever seen before. While our people were prosperous before unification, nothing can stabilize markets like complete safety from outside threats. A prosperous federation. So we just get a measly 3.2k crowns. Doesn't sound like a lot. And a 50% national tax modifier for half a century. Wow. I didn't think I could get any more busted. I can actually get my institution now, which I will. And we just... We're about to get another trader, merchant... And I'm gonna slot that in, see if we can make even more money. Oh man. Oh man. Alright, looks like they're done. Let's get a general, Nardabin. Get you guys moved over here. So it looks like Olavlund was in on this as well. So they're going to benefit. They got these provinces over here, and I pretty much. I'm just going to cut off this entire section from the outside world. Because as I know from my Grombar playthrough, this entire northern bit is this passage. It's literally called the Northern Pass, so go figure. Get down here. Capital's getting sieged. Yeah, we can go for this. Maybe go in here a bit. And people won't really hate us that much. Actually, you know what? I kind of want to take this hold. I think that would be hilarious. Have our own dwarven hold? Why not? I mean, what's it like? 11, 5, 6. It's not that bad. Let's go dwarven majority. No. Get away from that. So pretty much after the capital zone, we'll be able to take all of this. Yep. Not yet. After this fort's done. I just don't want to get bombarded by all these rebels that aren't even mine. That's annoying. 
And you, Wild Hunt, I cannot wait until you're dead. Oh. Yeah, the rebels are starting to move everywhere. Looks like Mr. Good Anvil is going to get deposed. Sucks for him. How's our troop situation looking? We're actually one man over the force limit. Interestingly enough. Alright. This is going to be our haul. 0% overextension for some reason. And then we have... 101 aggressive expansion. It's fine by me. And we got our first hold over here. Let's get everybody in position. Hopefully these guys don't attack while I am moving through. I am Black Flag, though. There we go. That's a good conquest. Let's focus on building Spy Network over here. We are a web weaver. Can finish off our ideas, but let's do that after we get Corrin. Yeah. Wonder how cheap it's going to be to take Admin Jack. 353. Huh. Actually, is really damn cheap. Here, let's get you. The only ally to Varamhar. So we might attack you once that truce is up. I really hope the Jadari stay friendly with me. Because they do have a ton of troops. And I wonder what we're going to do with these guys up here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do my merchant. I think I will just do... Hmm. I'm not really sure. I wonder if I could just collect here. And use the trade power down here to take it. Even though I know that the trade efficiency goes down since it's not here. I mean, trade power, yeah. Not your main trade city. I wonder if there's a modifier to take care of something like that. Yeah, look at all this. It's just all quartz dwarf. Cranium dwarf. Great orcs. Actually, yeah, frozen malls over here. Never heard of them before. And yeah, as I said in my other playthroughs, look at how crazy incense gets. 4.75. That is insane. Gold rush! Oh yes. Yes indeed. We still have almost 12 inflation. But, let's just get building. Even though we're getting fine on... Oh wow, that's a ton of trade power. I might as well do this. It's, it's not that bad. Let's see. Let's go for a conversion. I do want to start spending my Diplo. Start converting the converted um, centaurs over here. Because I don't think they will get purged. These guys. Because obviously, to change the culture, it's already religiously converted. Right here, so I don't know if it's still going to be purged or not. And actually, with the, the majority, the minority mechanic, does it actually just completely get rid of them? Because it might seem that way. Welcome, goblins. No, I hate goblins. He's an embezzler. Great. Oh wow, look, it's Magargma just got purged. Hats off to King Tot doing the Magargma campaign. Maybe give him a little try if you're into Ambinar content. He's kind of new to it. Oh, nice. We can start. What is this? Kavak. Kavakanoba. It's actually very beefy over here. Oh my goodness. Take this tech for 360 mil. That's insane. Everything's so cheap. 
Got our new leather cannons. Oh wow, it has its own localization. We'll get to that in a second. We got the new Angoromkli. Angoromkli, something like that. Just in an attempt to control their, caval their rowdy cavalry corps, the cities of the Federation take to hiring entire Orochav clans at a time to foster some semblance of unity within the ranks. These free companies are largely left to campaign on their own, taken to the battlefield and pointed in a direction to attack. Huh. Here goes all of our cores. Leather cannon. It says it's talking about... I guess the Coronite Wars. Used by the Coronites had a particular weakness, made it highly impractical. Oh, that's pretty good. What? Kurga Gutbuster. 10% more discipline? Alright. I know the elves are broken over here when it comes to discipline, but I want to do it myself. Let's do it. Let's take on these damn elves. Six fire. Let's go. We could grab a uh, security stack from over here. Get it moved down. Uh, excuse me. Where do you think you're going? Let's see this. Oh, they're not even elves. I'm an idiot. I completely forgot. We are the elves now. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's ridiculous. It just sucks because we can't get any absolutism at all. We need to get rid of some privileges, but even then... We have a ton of these. Well, I actually could get rid of... Like this. Yeah. This as well. That'll make them unhappy, but... That's what they gotta deal with when they're in my nation. We're not a corrupt bureaucracy, hopefully. I mean, even though our leader is an embezzler, he will get voted out. Or maybe he might bribe everybody to keep him in, who knows. Okay, we're just gonna take on these guys. That's pretty good. Probably just take this. Even though it is a butt-ton of everything over extension and aggressive expansion oh well it wouldn't be as bad if we weren't purging half the world but what can you do let's get moved over this way and his army is completely gone they gotta be hiding in the mountains somewhere trader just died let's just get this trader Look at that. Look how cheap that is. We'll lose the stability. That's fine. We're already at three anyway. Like it matters. Actually, your truce is about to run up soon. Let's get a stack moved down this way. And I do want to fabricate on you and take away from Jadari. We're super friends with Jadari. They'll understand. We have other things to do. And I do want to wait on admin for a bit before I take that. You yeah, look at that. <laughs> what is this? How much would it cost? I'm not going to take it. 400. With this... 10% more, Land Inheritance Act, and we just got 25% more governing capacity, which puts us at 1885. That is ridiculous. What? Alright, anyways, we got a new policy, Land Inheritance Act. Lowliest peasant inheriting the right to continue using the land that his forefathers used we will gain productivity as a state. I think I will just take the education one for now. We won't switch it around. Oh, hello. Yeah, I had a feeling you were hiding in the fog. You nasty. It's 
fine though. We still beat them, but at a heavy cost. Oh, and our trader died again. Why, game? That's just good for you. We have money to throw around. Alright, let's take this out. And it's more aggressive expansion, who cares? Nice. Akalsis is ours. Their entire names namesake is in our hands. And thank you, E4, just because I was locked in and clicked on a fort, I could not take him back. This is E4 for you. Let's get you guys stationed over here. Hmm. Put you. Actually, I don't know where to go next. Let me put you over here just in case. Yeah, there are actually are going to be some revolts coming up soon. Over here. And let's finally finish this. It's finally going to be over. Jadari's gonna go kill off some dwarves. Uh, why don't I join you? I actually have a ton of troops, but it seems like he brought in all of his elven friends. Zenites. So just regular Bulwari. Oh well. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Oh, hello there. And I just love how we have our first dwarven hold over here. Wondering what I should rename it to. It's gotta be like a Lake Federation type name, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas in the comments. We're actually getting a coalition against us. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Centaurs are finally wiped off of the map and we can finish our mission. Wrong door! For as long as they have existed, the centaurs have been a menace. Our ancestors were driven from their homelands, only surviving by hiding on an island, waiting to take their revenge. Now we are ready, and the horsemen shall pay for their crimes. Oh, trust me, they have been. Then we can get wrong neighborhood next. No breathing centaur left alive. Wow. Anyways, I think that's a good point to end this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.